Hey guys, and welcome to another video of Chum Vegan and Frodo. I hope you're having a beautiful, wonderful day, whatever you're doing. I'm just gonna open up the mic thing. Hopefully, you can hear me well. I'm not wearing a mic, but hopefully, you can hear me through the phone. This video seem to be all good when I'm just filming them on the phone like that. So, back home, <laughs> feeling good. It's been pretty full on week at work, really. It's just, yeah, kind of getting back into things. Can you see me? Is this a shitty lighting? Hopefully, you can see me. But anyway, it's been, yeah, it's been interesting. Uh, it's actually supposed to be a, not a very good day today, but it looks beautiful. So I'm gonna go do some stuff and then I'm gonna go for a ride. And I'm like super excited about it. And I'm back to doing weights at the gym as well. So that's good. And it's like also good for the training and stuff. But like now my body is like, what is this? What? We haven't done this in like forever. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's amusing, but it's, it's good as well because it's like building different muscle groups, uh, helping them develop, and basically you just get a better overall fitness level in your whole body, basically, right? For smashing out more insane Ks and doing more crazy challenges on the bike. I have two awesome challenges coming up on the bike and I'm so excited about them. I can't like quite tell about them too yeah but like you might have guessed like some of you might have guessed what, what they are what i would be like doing if you're checking out my strava still or whatever but anyway like this video i wanted to make about bib shorts or nicks for females like i haven't obviously tried any male ones but you can kind of have a bit of a judgment for them for what the brands that i'm going to talk about and you know you can make a judgment make a call but obviously I have only tried female versions so I can only talk about that right but anyway so let's just get into it like some people who watch this channel may not be quite familiar like as you know I do lots of long distance rides it's like my thing I absolutely love touring I absolutely love just smashing it out on the bike it's like so much fun for me and a lot of people do ask like how does your like butt not get sore like how does you know that whole area like survives all the crazy long hours on the bike and the thing is um in cycling there are these um shorts that they've developed that have padding inside of the um inside like when you're like sitting area so these would be like the regular pants and you know they're like don't have anything on them it's like flat but like cycling these are like shorts right and they have like padding inside of them it's pretty cool so i'm gonna go through three different brands of padded stuff that i have used <laughs> and abused <laughs> and i'm also gonna go through one pair that is winter ones as well so just because it is winter in australia even though it's like nice and sunny and beautiful i'm sitting here in the freaking thing but <laughs> it is winter in australia so, my very first bib shorts that I tried were this brand. It's Netty. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. And it is like one of the cheaper um, kind of brands that you can buy for cycling at the bottom here. Like, at the, so this is kind of what they look like. They sort of come yeah like two knees kind of two knees they have this is the kind of padding they have inside they're actually like not bad i actually they're they're, they're reasonable and especially they're like 40 dollars australian dollars and uh, all the like branded or other stuff normally not necessarily like big brands but it's usually they're about like 80 to 100 dollars these kind of things um and also at the bottom the thing that i found annoying with these is at the very bottom they have like this silicon strip thing and I understand why they need it like to kind of keep the shorts on your legs like sticking to it but I find them like digging into it and it's just like so uncomfortable and these are like a bit big for me like when I've a bit big for me who <laughs> big for me like half a year ago um, so I haven't worn them for quite a while but they were good they were like a really good starting point and then what I did I went to the same I did the same shorts but I did it in the size down because the ones are too big for me now but yeah so I have like the next size down and 
like obviously they had the same kind of padding and they're all right like they're reasonable did I no I, I I haven't really maybe I worn them on like on the very 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 first ride thing that I did the long distance ride right, where you do I did 300 k's in three days so I wore them then and I wore them obviously loads on like local little rides that I've been doing but I haven't I didn't wear them on my bigger tours and stuff because a few of them were in winter and then I got other gear so my friend was getting out cleaning out her closet because she was going away so she kind of gave me a few of her things um so one of them were these like shorts cycling shorts made by craft craft here you go so they're the right size like i don't know and this is the kind of padding they have in them it's like cushiony but it's not like super cushiony if i compare this padding cushionness of this with this with the netty um Nitty, if it feels thicker, they feel thicker, but but this is feels much much softer. Yeah, I would say how they compare to right. Honestly, like I don't want to beg this brand at all. It's a good brand, but and I like it on shorter rides. Like and by short, I mean like five hours is all good in these in these shorts. But when I did my half Everest which took me like under 12 or 13 hours like I was sore I was sore after wearing these and it was annoying in the beginning like they were they were fine in the first half but then it's just I don't know I think maybe on sides they don't have enough padding I think maybe they need just a little bit more padding on the side because here like if you look in the front here like this area has less like it's lit it's like way thinner than this bed here so this has less bedding. Just, just a thought. This is what I've tried. Um, I'd still obviously run them, and they look cool. And I have like a jersey with them, so it looks like really nice, like a good kit. But I don't know. They wouldn't be my go-to shorts, personally. <sighs> my favorites, my favorites, my absolute favorites right now are these bib shorts. No, oh, mix whatever bibs, bibs. That's right. There you go, you can see them. They're made, the sign is somewhat right now, but they're made by Jagad. Jagad, this is like my personal favorite like brand. Like obviously, I, <laughs> I'm not paid to say this, but I love these things. Th these are good. These are so good. Like, like seriously, the first time I tried them on, I was just like, little just a little unsure like you know when you try new stuff but again like my friend was getting rid of a whole lot of her cycling gear because she was going traveling and she just had an insane amount of clothes so she just piled off some stuff to me and these were one of them and then i was like it's good shit um what i didn't say about craft though sorry to go back um at the bottom of the craft they have this little kind of they'll still have this little silicon layer thing but I prefer this silicon so layer much much more to the silicon thing here because here the silicon strip is so thick and it's like it's like you know it's what is it called the rubber thing like so it like kind of compresses your thighs with with this this is not like it's stretchy but it's not it's just like a piece of fabric and it has a little bit like so this this is much nicer on your legs when you wear them and also they're a little bit shorter so nicer to get slightly high ten lines <laughs> um yeah man you should see my ten lines they're like crazy uh but anyway these are like my faves right now absolutely and in fact like i wore this out pretty quite a bit like they've, they've got a whole lot of holes in them right now and like all this is a bit but i still love it and i'll still wear it absolutely and i actually just ordered a new pair of jagad website they like often have sales and stuff on so I, I order another pair with the um, layer layering in there this is what it looks like and it's actually it is it, it's thick it's like squishy squishy spongy and it's thick and it's much thicker than this like like seriously I don't know how I can even compare it for you guys but like I don't know if you can see Yeah. 
This is like, I don't know if you see, but this is like definitely thicker. It, it is thicker on the butt. It has like these two like soft type pedal things here. And then in the front here as well, and a bit on sides. Like, I freaking rate these things. That's why I bought like another pair. And it's, and it's super expensive. I know, I agree, but it's so good. And if you're gonna spend freaking, you know, 90 hours <laughs> on some trip somewhere for two weeks riding your bike and doing nothing else and literally living in these things because you just wash them overnight and you put them on first thing in the morning and off you go that's your outfit like because you're a cyclist and that's all you want to do all day long <laughs> and you live like these things are freaking the bomb um it can get annoying if you have a really tight kind of jersey thing or whatever you're wearing to have to take these off when you go to the bathroom like the top bits but at the same time i find them so 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 helpful that i don't need to worry about shorts coming off me because these these things the nady things they freaking come off you all the time and maybe it is because the sizing is not quite correct like because like before i was bigger like when i started cycling so when i wear it it feels just like it catches onto your seat you know if you stop like in a traffic light or something you go back onto your saddle when you try to go it like catches like that bump that catches onto the seat i don't get it with these really like they're, they're, they're good and you don't have to like keep fixing them up they just stay on because you have these little things here i don't know what you want to call them but suspenders but they're good these are my favorites at the bottom here there's no silicon it's a bit of a like elastic -y band thing but it's nowhere near like at all as tight as the netty thing like like this thing it's just it, it might work really well and I think netty like could be really good starting point if you don't want to spend like you know, $150 or whatever on a pair of shorts when you're not even sure that you would if you will enjoy <laughs> long distance cycling and stuff but like now that i know how much i love it and i know how important wearing good bike shorts to make sure that your freaking neither area it just helps you to enjoy it a lot more and go for longer because it's like so much fun so anyway really really good like leg things as well like it, it's not compressing it's so comfortable like seriously this lycra is just so comfortable and it's not even it washes out pretty well actually yeah this is a bit random i just smell them but like they're, they're clean but like it washes out easily as well even though you know i've been riding for ages and ages and ages and have only like did hand washing of my stuff so this this i freaking rate and i buy it again in fact i bought it again just an hour ago because i need a new pair and there and now I know it's 30 minutes I'll try and go really much quicker on this but this is what I got for my very first tour from Brisbane to Sydney and I knew it was gonna be cold but I didn't want to spend arm and a leg on buying something that I was just like oh I don't know like whatever right like how long it'll last if I'm gonna like just it's a one-off thing but I'm so glad I got these I have definitely worn them out but they look fine but like the, the back side it's got like holes and things really like one out so I actually have to like double wear stuff now like I have to wear some other shorts underneath and something but these are definitely like winter things they're like really really long get your whole legs and then it's like but it's it's like this fabric it's like cushiony warmy warm fabric it's so good it keeps you so warm like I'm so grateful I have this because it's just it keeps your whole body warm while you're riding it can get too hot being in Australia and we not, don't have crazy cold winters but it was cheap cheap it was cheap it was freaking $70 for this whole big thing when normally it was like over 200 so I was definitely happy with buying that even though it got more one out that I wanted it to get in a in a year just like one winter but I guess it also depends how much you ride it and stuff as well so in terms of the the brand is this GI ST I don't know they have like a little Italian flag there I don't know how I drew it but you can I wish I can find it there 
it's it's squishy it's warm like the number one thing about this thing is it's warm and when you're on the bike like going for ages and ages and ages it's nice to be warm I'll show you the middle bit thing it's not as cushiony no but it's still actually it is pretty it's nowhere near as cushiony as you got but it's uh it's still good it's still good and in fact this is what I wore on my very first tour to Sydney Brisbane to Sydney right and my butt was fine like I didn't feel like it was sore or anything it was only like one day when I I felt like it was a bit you know tender but all the other days all that like six days over the 1200 K tour it was just sweet as and it has like this little zip thing that you can zip up so then it's more of a it's like another layer on your top and if you get a bit hot like when you're riding but you don't want to take the whole thing off you just unzip it and they're very long in fact I think this size like a, a bit too big for me now a bit but at the bottom here it is quite long so then it also it doesn't just end like at your car it kind of goes all the way down here you know like halfway through a foot so and it has like this little elastic -y, rubbery thing there but I don't mind it on my feet like you just wear socks and stuff with it and it's not too tight or anything so this is what I use right now what I have been using I do want to try other stuff out definitely but I am actually pretty happy with guard right now like to be quite honest and I might look into getting something long and warm again but I actually really like this so I'm gonna figure out how to fix this because like the rest of it is absolutely fine I'll just like probably keep wearing some sort of shorts with them because they're warm and sometimes it's just yeah like it's important <laughs> When it's like five degrees or zero degrees outside and you get a ride because you're a mad cyclist <laughs> it's yeah no they're definitely definitely helpful and helps you get out on the road as well when it's like winter and you're not so keen but when you have long clothes at least you know you don't have the excuses so i hope you find this found this helpful hopefully it was you know informative girls don't be afraid of bikes don't be afraid of long k's on the bike find the shorts or the bib shorts or whatever cycling shorts that will work for you that will help you protect that area and well guys as well obviously like just don't be afraid of k's um wear the right gear take care of your body like obviously food and hydration and stuff we can have a whole other video on that but just don't be afraid of it and don't be afraid of cycling in winter don't be afraid of cycling in the rain obviously use your judgment but just seriously get out on a bike because bikes are amazing <laughs> i think it's just like the coolest thing ever helps you don't sorry i like i just look at mine and there it is it's like the most beautiful creation <laughs> but i'm actually been going to bike shops and checking out other bikes because i need an upgrade on my gearing I need upgrade on my shifters probably brakes wheels because everything is getting reasonably <laughs> worn out that's right we can deal with that I means we've been going on a ton of adventures of the last year and a half and having the most amazing beautiful time <laughs> anyway hope you're having a beautiful wonderful day I'm working on the vlogs I'll work on getting them out to you and editing those videos and doing more and more review stuff I ordered a whole bunch of lights that I'm gonna review because basically my lights are failing and I needed new lights my, my, my backlight failed so I needed new light so I got a couple so I can test them out on longer rides and kind of give you an idea for a couple of brands and my experience with them and thanks for watching another video sorry it's a long one hopefully you got something useful out of it thanks for watching thanks for being here with me remember to stop counting calories start counting hills count your adventures count your passions and live this life to the max because you know you're only here for a limited amount of time might as well make it worth it see you again soon bye